everyone, good morning. Today is the first day Hanoi allows all the restaurants and coffee shops to open. Finally, after a month of social distancing, so finally I can be outside and like enjoy the fresh air and everything. And as you guys can see, uh, the people here are very excited too. It's already crowded on the street and I can't wait um, to show you guys what to eat today uh, in Hanoi. I feel like all the local businesses are being affected a lot by um, COVID-19. So what I can do right now is to go out and eat and support them, you know, so they can survive through this challenging time. So without further ado, let me show you the first restaurant that we're gonna go today. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here Dịch Covid có ảnh hưởng đến cô nhiều không hả? Có ảnh hưởng chứ con Đến trưa thì cũng dịch bệnh bây giờ cũng chẳng đông lắm đúng không? Thế à? Bây giờ cũng hạn chế nhiều Đông Ngày xưa Đông Xưa ngày đông Quán cô thường mở cửa mấy giờ hả cô? Cô từ 6 rưỡi sáng đến 2 giờ đêm Ồ, 2 giờ đêm ấy ạ? <laughs> Hi everyone, so for breakfast, I just ordered the uh, steamed rice roll. It's called bánh cuốn in Vietnamese. And first of all, I'm just going to introduce you to all the condiments that we have here. So we have garlic vinegar, um, this is fish sauce, and chili, and lime, uh, peppers, and chili powder. So if you come here to eat, you see like these two bottles, uh, and you confuse like what they're for. If you see like it's red, it's chili powder and it's brown, it's pepper. Yeah, so I feel like all the condiments here look like the condiments when you eat pho, especially in Hanoi. Uh, so yeah, just mix and match whatever you want, uh, whatever dipping sauce flavor you want. Uh, but for me, I like to have a touch of uh, peppers and eye chili and lime in here because I like my dipping sauce to be a little bit sour and uh, spicy. Yeah, so I just like put everything in there. Yeah, so I just order a special plate that has uh, the steamed rice rolls with the minced pork and wood ear mushroom and with mushroom. You can see fried onions on top and Vietnamese bologna. It's actually a cinnamon Vietnamese bologna and it smells so good. I can already smell the fried shallot and it's so aromatic guys. Mm. Mm. So good. So the rice paper is very thin and it has the chewy texture in there. It's so earthy guys and it's super good if you guys have it for breakfast or like even light supper. And I think it's a great breakfast in the winter, especially in Hanoi, you know. Winter in Hanoi is so cold, but if you have like a like a warm plate of bánh cuốn, it's gonna make your day. And I feel like the owner needs to have a special skill to make the steamed rice paper this thin, delicate and so transparent, you know. Like from here you can see the meat from the rice paper and when did you guys notice that when she actually like take the rice paper out of the, uh, her pot it didn't even break i don't know how she did that yeah the steamed rice papers are made of rice flour sometimes it's like tapioca starch or um yeah it's like a mix of rice flour batter the most important thing is the dipping sauce because i feel like the dipping sauce is the perfect balance of sweet and savory taste in here and when you dip it in the dipping sauce the food is just amazing like so delicious and so earthy okay so this is actually my favorite because uh, she put eggs in here and the mince pork it's like all in one you know it's a special piece so I'm gonna have this piece with the Vietnamese bologna dip in the sauce and I eat it with the bologna it's gonna be mouthful but it's gonna be worth it guys oh my god it's gonna be hard here Mm. You know, I just love the feeling when like the egg yolk just melting in your mouth and it has like a 
I don't know, like a natural sweetness in it, but it's just like so fresh. All right, so I just got done with my breakfast and it was such a nice breakfast, guys. So now I'm just gonna show you guys around Hanoi and let's see what we're gonna eat next. We um, we can't gather right now, but soon we're gonna open, uh, and you're gonna see the street is so busy at night. And uh, if you're gonna have uh, experience the nightlife in Hanoi, that here, this is a street. What it's called? Yeah, it's gonna be a great place for you to come. So yeah, it's already 10 a.m. right now, and it's actually very hot and humid. So, I decided to get some ice cream today and uh, where I'm at right now is Kem Chang Sien. Uh, so this place was founded in 1958. Very, very famous, you know, like all Hanoi knows this. And then when you come to Hanoi, definitely need to try this ice cream because it's yummy. It's so good. And then now we're just going to go inside to see what flavors they have and then to see what's inside. Alright, let's go. Oh, and especially if you ride a motorbike, make sure that you turn off your engine. Yeah, don't turn on your engine. Turn it off and then uh, walk uh, your vehicle in here, okay? Yeah, because that's a sign over there. And then they have a cycle over there too. But yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, and then you can put your bikes here. So there's plenty of space for you to park your vehicle. There are two types of ice cream. So the first one is the cone ice cream and the second one is the popsicle. So cone ice cream, the ice cream with the cone, has four flavors. So taro, uh, vanilla, chocolate, and the young rice. And the popsicle has more flavors and uh, kind of the same flavors with the, um, the ice cream with the cone. But then they have durian, durian flavor here. You guys should try it. So the cone ice cream is here, but the popsicle is over there. Okay, so I got the vanilla ice cream and this is the, uh, what is that called? Coconut milk? Yeah, coconut milk popsicle. Yeah, and behind me, this is a train uh, and it's at Kem Chang Tien, which is Chang Tien ice cream over there. And you can see people on the train. Maybe they're trying to get ice cream. Yeah, I usually just sit here. Like like what this girl is doing right now. But yeah, I usually sit here and just enjoy ice cream with my friend. And it's a great way to like communicate with people and having a fun time together, you know? That's what I love about Vietnam because uh, there's so many places that you can hang out here in Hanoi. It's a big city, so you never get bored. Every day you wake up and you'll find something new to do. Guys, I have my buddy here. <laughs> and actually, um, I don't know if I feel comfortable sitting here because it's so narrow and then half of my butt is like out, sticking out. <laughs> so yeah, but the ice cream is so good. Let's have a bite. It's melting, it's so good, so refreshing. Okay, it's melting. I'm just gonna eat it now. All right, I'll see you guys at lunch.
xuống đâu ấy hả chị? Okay guys, so moving on to the next dish. This one is kind of like strange to foreigners, uh, especially who haven't come to Vietnam yet. It's actually fermented shrimp paste with noodles. You know, like I already did a video about uh, fermented shrimp paste with noodles and it's called bún đậu bấm tôm in Vietnamese. And today uh, we're gonna discover how it's like, all right? So let's go inside. Okay, so we're in front of Bún Đậu Cô Tuyến, it's in the Hang Khai Alley and as you guys can see, it's so crowded in here like, there are a lot of people in here so we're just gonna go inside and order what is that? <laughs> like there's some water like coming down but anyway, uh, we're just gonna come inside and order a special Bún Đậu Mắm Tôm alright, let's go Yeah, so if you come to Vietnam, cleaning your own table is a normal thing <laughs> to do. Yeah, because usually they don't have enough um, employees. So it's kind of normal to see like um, all the bowls and plates are, are like still on the table. And if you want to have somewhere to sit, you just have to clean it by yourself. <laughs> see like the trash on the floor and um, like all the cups and plates on the table so um, yeah it's gonna be a culture shock for you the first time when you come to Vietnam um, but just let you know that like the local here do this so um, at first when I came back to Vietnam I was shocked too yeah but now we just need to I guess like raise awareness uh, so people won't just like litter on the floor Another note when you come to Vietnam is that it's very common to see children and older people trying to sell souvenirs on the street or in the shops. I wish I could change that system because it's harsh to see the elderly still have to work. Uh, this is huge guys. Uh, so um, usually this one is for two people. So I already said one in one of my videos that this type of food is, you either love it or hate it. And I love it so much, the fermented shrimp paste. So if you haven't had it before, you're gonna be haunted by a pungent scent from the fermented shrimp. So um, the fermented shrimp, as you can see, it's like purple. And uh, before eating this, you need to know how to make it uh, taste better, how to make the fermented shrimp. So basically what I usually do is that I would squeeze some lime uh, and in here they have comforts um, in here a little and then I would mix it I would whisk it until it has uh, like bubbles on top so you know like it's good yeah and then you can see you can see the purple color so beautiful here really if my mom makes it at home I would ask her to put some boiling uh, oil in here so it will have like more greasy uh, texture uh, flavor in it and some Hanoian do that too and I feel like this is a very uh, greasy food you know that's why they serve it with tons of herbs like um, like the Thai basils and uh, Vietnamese corianders and everything. Traditionally, they just have the fried tofu with noodles and with uh, the shrimp paste. Some people, if they can't eat shrimp paste, uh, they ask for fish sauce instead, sweet and sour fish sauce. Nowadays, they have a young rice nugget, they have fried egg rolls and like pork intestines and everything. And uh, this is very interesting in Vietnam and I personally don't eat it and it's called zoi. Inside it, uh, it's like a pig blood with tons of herbs in here and it looks pretty fresh but for me, <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of organs and stuff so I'm, I think I'm gonna pass um, on this one. Eat this one, you would dip the vermicelli in the sauce and then you'll eat it with uh, whatever topping you want so i'm just gonna eat this one with um, fried tofu mm. i was dreaming of having this all day yesterday all night yesterday 
And my dream just came true, guys. Eating like the vermicelli here is so different from other vermicelli because when you eat noodles, the vermicelli is like uh, separated. But in here, as you can see, it's like very solid and it's kind of like stick together, you know? And I feel like it's easier for you to dip in the sauce and I just have it as one bite with like other toppings. Um, and then I really like the tofu because it's very crispy and crunchy outside but it's still moist and very hot and soft inside and uh, that's what I love about fermented shrimp paste with noodles because uh, there are so many different ingredients but they still match and beautifully mix with other ingredients and especially with the dipping sauce. My foreign friends when they first come to Vietnam they like I hate boiled chicken or I hate boiled pork because it's so plain and there's no flavor to it and my answer is that you haven't found a right sauce yet. The right dipping sauce. For this one, you should dip it in here. This is a magical sauce, you know. Uh, when I was younger, I couldn't really eat it. But then my mom, my mom talked me into it and she's like, just try it. You're gonna regret not trying it. And after that, I just tried it and I, I fell in love with it. Like probably the second time or like the third time I tried it. It just has a very, very pungent smell, I have to say. Uh, some people compare it to like stinky sauce, but for me, the sauce is sweet and very savory and I have to say it is very tasty. It's very different from other sauce because usually Vietnamese sauce, uh, we mentioned about um, sweet and sour fish sauce, but in here it's like fermented shrimp paste. So it's more condensed and it's uh, salty definitely. But when you mix it with uh, kumquat or like lime, in here it has a perfect balance of all flavors. Okay guys, so I'm walking on um, Phố Lý Thái Tổ, Lý Thái Tổ Street right now and as you guys can see, next to me is the Hoan Kim Lake and you guys probably noticed that um, this place appeared on my video so many times because um, it is a very, it's an iconic symbol of Hanoi, you know. Can you guys see it? There you go. <laughs> uh, today is actually a very good day. The weather was perfect. Even though it's the middle of June, it's supposed to be very hot and humid, but because it was raining so hard yesterday. So uh, today was actually very cool and people started going outside doing exercises. There's a person doing exercises over there. <laughs> but yeah, normally this street it's gonna be packed with people uh, but today there's still COVID going on so not many people go out and it's like kind of lunchtime as well but yeah before when I was walking on the street it's like packed with people and it was like very dynamic and very nice okay I think it's enough food for today and I hope you guys like this video it's just gonna be my chill day uh, because I want to celebrate the first day of Hanoi opening all the restaurants and coffee shops and I'm glad that I I go out and eat, so I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give a like and don't forget to share it to your friends. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!